Alkenes are reactive due to the presence of its electron-rich carbon-to-carbon double bond. The presence of this double bond is the reason why alkenes are unsaturated compounds. The carbon atoms with the double bond are bonded to three other atoms. One, two, three. It is not saturated because a carbon atom can form a maximum of four bonds. As such, alkenes can undergo addition reactions where electrons in the second bond can allow adjacent carbon atoms to form two new covalent bonds. This way, the molecule becomes saturated. When learning reactions in organic chemistry, there are two key terms you must be familiar with. The first term is nucleophile. Alkenes are very good nucleophiles, and nucleophiles are compounds which initiate a chemical reaction with a nearby molecule. Electrons in the carbon to carbon double bond are attracted to positive charges. And this is one of the properties of a nucleophile, that being they need to be negatively charged, either a formal charge, that is an ionic charge, or a partial charge due to dipole dipole moments, or simply the electrons in an electron dense carbon to carbon double bond. The second term is what we call an electrophile, and these are electron loving molecules. And these molecules that react with nucleophiles. And typically, electrophiles are positively charged molecules, either with a formal charge, that is an ionic charge, or a partial charge. The first addition reaction is hydrohalogenation of alkenes. This is when alkenes react with a molecule of hydrogen halide. A hydrogen halide is a diatomic molecule consisting of a hydrogen atom and halogen atom, for example fullerene. Hydrogen halides are excellent electrophiles because the halogen's high electronegativity causes the adjacent hydrogen atom to acquire a strong, partial, positive charge. This in turn allows the electrons in the alkene's double bond to initiate a reaction as they are attracted to the positively charged hydrogen atom in the hydrogen halide molecule. The movement of electrons breaks the double bond and allows the hydrogen atom to be added to the organic molecule. Now that the double bond is broken, the other carbon atom is missing a covalent bond, so it becomes positively charged. However, the carbon atom does not stay positively charged for long, as a negatively charged halogen atom is attracted and therefore added to it, which forms the final product of the reaction, a halo alkane. That is an alkane molecule with a halogen atom attached to it. Let's take a look at another hydrohalogenation reaction with propane. Electrons in the double bond is attracted to the partially positive hydrogen atom in the hydrogen halide molecule, forming a bond. However, this time there's actually a different intermediate molecule formed depending on which carbon atom this hydrogen atom is added to. If the hydrogen atom is added to the second or middle carbon atom, the first carbon atom becomes positively charged because it only has three covalent bonds. If the hydrogen atom is added to the first carbon atom in the example below, then the second carbon atom becomes positively charged, again, because it only has three covalent bonds. Consequently, this affects the structure of the final product because a halogen will be added to the positively charged carbon atom. In the first case, the reaction produces one bromopropane where the bromine atom is added to the first carbon atom. In the second case, the product is two bromopropane where the bromine atom is added to the second carbon atom of the molecule. While this reaction produces both molecules as a product, the bottom product, two bromopropane, is always produced in a greater quantity compared to one bromopropane. As a result, two bromopropane is referred to as the major product of the reaction, while the other is called the minor product of the reaction. Markovnikov's rule explains why the bottom molecule is the major product. The rule states that in an alkene addition reaction with hydrogen halide, the hydrogen atom or proton is attached to the carbon atom with more hydrogen atom attached to it. So for example, in the major product, 
the hydrogen atom is attached to the first carbon as it has one, two, two hydrogen atoms already bound to it, instead of the second carbon where it only has one. In other words, Markovnikov's rule also states that the halogen atom is attached to the carbon atom with more carbon atoms attached to it. Again, in the major product example, the bromine atom preferentially is added to the second carbon in the molecule as the second carbon is attached to two nearby carbon atoms. The next addition reaction is halogenation. This is where an alkene reacts with halogen gas to produce a halo alkane with two halogen atoms added to the molecule. For example, the reaction between ethene and chlorine gas produces 1,2-dichloroethane. Keep in mind that in halogenation, Markovnikov's rule does not apply because two identical atoms, that is the halogen gas, are added, and therefore the reaction does not produce major nor minor products. Hydrogenation is a reaction between alkene and hydrogen gas. This reaction adds two hydrogen atoms to the carbon atoms across the double bond. Unlike previous addition reactions, however, this reaction requires a metal catalyst. For example, palladium on carbon, commonly represented by the symbol PD slash C. This reaction converts an alkene, for example here propane, to its alkane counterpart, propane. The last addition reaction with alkene is hydration. This is when water is used as a reactant to add an OH substituent or group to the alkene molecule. This reaction transforms an alkene into an alcohol, which is a new functional group we'll look at in a future video. The reaction hydration requires an acid as a catalyst. The most common example is sulfuric acid. Since we need both acid and water, the reagent for hydration is usually collectively referred to as dilute sulfuric acid. Keep in mind that the other common strong acid, hydrochloric acid, does not work for this reaction as it is a hydrogen halide itself. So the addition of hydrochloric acid will start a reaction with alkene that is a hydrohalogenation rather than hydration. Hydration is another addition reaction that produces major and minor products. Electrons in the double carbon to carbon bond initiate the reaction by moving towards the proton produced by the acid catalyst. Two different intermediate molecules are formed depending on which carbon atom the proton is added to. This could be the second carbon atom or the first carbon atom. The water molecule is then added to the positively charged carbon atom in the two intermediate molecules. Consequently, two organic molecules are formed where the position of the OH group varies. The major product of hydration is one where the alcohol or the OH substituent is added to the carbon atom that has more carbon atoms already bonded to it. This also means, in the major product, the hydrogen atom or proton is added to the carbon atom with more hydrogen atoms already bonded to it. 